should quit forex trading why you should quit forex trading guys i'm just going to be looking at one simple question that most people come to me and they ask me first can you actually make money trading forex i'm going to be genuine i'm, I'm always very straightforward with this with this issue because i know there's a lot of bullshit out there there are a lot of people lying to you a lot of people trying to con you of your money a lot of people trying to say oh i'll trade for you and give you profits which nowadays they can do for a while but i can i can guarantee you they end up losing money depending on the interest they're giving you if they're doing like normal interest and a very good period of time they can give you money anyways the question is can you actually make money trading forex and this is something that most people actually do not understand this is something that we need to speak about this is something that we need to discuss this is something that we need to uh, openly talk about i have been in the forex uh, world for a while now so i believe i have pretty good understanding and solid knowledge of if you can succeed in forex trading or not so yes you can make money trading forex that's the short answer but again no you should actually quit forex so what do i mean Remember, Kens Money Matters here, we talk about the money mindset, how to make that money, how to enjoy that money, how to invest that money, how to assure yourself of a lifetime of income, basically financial freedom. So, forex trading is something that is just, you know, it's so controversial, it's so difficult to address. It's uh, one of those things whereby you are going against the tide, yeah? you're going against the waves. This is because most people that talk to you about forex or where you get this information about forex, they are usually flaunting uh, some money or telling you how much they have made millions from trading forex or telling you how much they make money every single day without ever losing or they are just showcasing their lifestyle. So it's become that thing of you know lifestyle show. People are showing how much they're making and they're trying to sell you courses, they're trying to sell you different things. And mine is more like I tell you very genuinely that hey, this is a skill like any other skill. Trading is a skill like any other skill. If you come in here to make quick money, please don't waste your money on me. Don't waste my time. I also don't do classes because I know that every single person has a different need, right? So my approach is completely different. And I'm telling you what, from the moment that you might not make money. It might not be for you. You're going to lose money sometimes. It's all about how much you lose against how much you win. I'm very frank, very open. And I've told you I've lost money. I still lose money up to now. And I do not give you bullshit about Forex. But a lot of people out there, they're selling a lifestyle around Forex. And therefore, the people who come to me for Forex trading or for lessons or for advice or for que with questions, they come with a very different mindset that will not help them succeed. Should you actually just quit Forex? Forget about it and do something else, or should you actually try and can you actually make money? Now, the, I said the short answer is yes, you can make money. Why, number one? Because yes, it is a tradable asset. People are exchanging money all the time. The charts move up and down all the time. Sometimes a currency is stronger than the other one. It's going up. Sometimes a currency is weak. It's going down. There are factors that drive these things, be it sentimental, based on what people think, be it economical, be it you know political, what we call, what we call the fundamental factors that are driving this and be it technical which is just basically the charts and how they move it means in this case you can't make money right you can't trade money but it also means that the chances of losing the money are also high it's a highly risky investment or i would say what income skill and what i tell people the first thing is that you must be patient enough to master the skill you have to approach forex like someone who is just approaching any other business uh, like an engineer like an architect like whatever just the same way you would go out there and learn a new skill like programming for example like coding is the same way you could learn forex it's a skill that you have to be patient with it's a skill that you have to give your time it's a skill that you have to give your attention it's a skill that requires dedication for a while that's one thing that people lack so they come in there they want to make money very fast they think it's like a casino and in a casino people lose money anyways so yes if you lose money in the forex then it actually does make sense if you come with that kind of mindset if you come like a gambling place you can't gamble but if you come and treat it like a business and seriously like a skill that you're gonna learn you can make money it takes time you learn it you're disciplined you follow your trading plan your trading strategy you're gonna make money and of course you must have the right strategy the second thing about forex is you need to understand what is happening in the market not just within the charts but also outside what drives the market most people don't even understand factors around forex they want to come straight into that chart and they want to start making money no understanding of the basic 
facts about forex markets about forex trading and i always say that mentality is gonna make you lose money so if that's the mentality you have quit trading forex now then there are people who are constantly changing their strategies every single strategy is wrong you are constantly on youtube trying to get a new strategy you constantly talking to people trying to get a new strategy you're constantly trying to get that holy grail you're going to lose your money as well so i would say avoid forex in that sense as well avoid forex it's not going to be helpful to you you have to be certain of what you want you have to know that you are coming to learn a skill you have to know the basic factors around forex trading for you to actually succeed in forex then of course you want to be able to start with a considerable amount of capital so that you don't go over leveraging yourself so in forex of course you can leverage whereby you can trade with less money that you don't have and that's what most people are selling online they come tell you oh you know you could only have a hundred dollars but you could be trading like hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars why because you are leveraging you're basically borrowing that money from the broker you're trading but the chances of you making money increases but the chances of you losing money and going underwater are also high so most people come with that mindset of they want to over leverage themselves and they don't know how to manage that process what happens they go underwater and therefore they cannot trade anymore the account is basically done so you come and burn many accounts and you get out you burn many accounts and you get out you over leverage yourself if that's what you're doing you're basically gambling stop trading forex and then there's those people who are so bad at money management if you want to trade forex you must be good at money management you must be taught money management what do i mean i mean that the money that you have is what is making you trade so if you have a hundred thousand for your trading forex account that is what is making you be in a position to trade if you lose that hundred thousand today it means you cannot trade so you have to guard that money with your life if you want to protect that career because like forex is just a career if you want to protect your career that hundred thousand is what stands between you and your career what do you do you protect it how by having very strict standard money management system money management system and rules whereby you don't play around with your money you don't play around when it comes to your money so money management has to be top so your money management system your money management skills have to be really good you have to learn how to manage that money if you don't and you end up now risking too much of the money that you have within no time you have no money and you cannot trade that's why a lot of people i tell them just quit the other thing is you are too busy you don't have time to do it you don't have time to learn it and therefore you're just trying to find ways in which you can make some extra back but you're trying to find it in the wrong place if you want to trade by yourself forget about it if you're too busy go and look for those people who can trade for you to give you some 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 money back which 90 percent of them are cons they're gonna scam you of that money or some of them are actually very genuine but because they over promise what they are going to give you or because they need that money so much from you they come and pitch to you something that is not realistic they end up risking too much and at the end of the day because of the pressure to get that money and give back to the investors what happens they lose all that money over 90 percent of them always lose that money they can give you some sustained profits for one two three four months but at the end of the day they always lose the money so if you don't have time to do it then do not start doing it look for something else that it can be more passive that will not add to your time something that will not take so much of your mental capacity because forex is demanding mentally then the other thing is either you're doing it part-time or full-time you're doing full-time that's fine but if you're doing it part-time you have to make sure that you have enough mental space to take it it requires a lot in terms of analysis it requires a lot in terms of understanding you cannot make mistakes in the forex market because if you make any mistake you're going to pay with your money so forex is all about having a very clear strategy, being disciplined to follow that strategy, having a very good money management system, and coming with the right mindset. Yes, you can make money in forex trading, but like I said, it's not easy. It's not an easy process. And what kills most people before they even begin is the mindset with which they approach the forex trading market. If you approach it like, you know what, it's some kind of side hustle you want to do, you want to make quick money, you want to lose money. If you're approaching it like a proper career, a proper, proper side hustle, proper business that you're going to put your time, put your focus, put your money on, you're going to make money. And then the other thing, most people do not want to look for proper mentors. You want to look for people who are flaunting some money online for them to give you that holy grail so you can start flaunting tomorrow. You don't want to look for solid people who are just making very consistent, normal profit margins and they will tell you the truth about the forex market. They will tell you that, oh, today I've lost money. 
today I've not made money and stuff like that. You have to be honest and open about these things. Most people don't want that. They don't want to be honest. They don't want to be open about this process. So what happens? They go look for the wrong people to mentor them. They don't look for solid people. They don't want to look for someone like me. They're saying, oh, he doesn't look like he has money because he's not flaunting any Rolex. He's not flaunting anything. That's not my thing. That's not what I'm working for in my life. This is not my dream. So, but again, if you don't want to go to someone like me, then go to those people are flaunting on Instagram and everywhere else and tell me how it goes. What I'm saying is that look for someone who can teach you how to trade Forex in a solid, proper manner, such that it's realistic, it's straightforward, and you can realize, okay, you can clearly see that this person is telling me something that he's doing that he knows. Okay? Not those things that people post on TikTok or those fake things they post on uh, Instagram, lying to you about, you know, they have made money here, they have made 100,000. No, they're lying to you. And if someone has made that kind of money, you also need to ask yourself, what is their account size? How much money do they have in there for them to make, let's say, $10,000 a day? $20,000 a day. How much do they have in that account? Nobody ever asks that question. You come with your 100 Kenyan shillings or 10,000 Kenyan shillings, you want to make $100,000. What happens? You burn that account. So your approach to Forex will determine if you will fail or you succeed. So yes, you can make money in Forex, but most people fail because of the kind of mindset they approach Forex with. I hope that's helpful to you. Remember, I give one-on-one -on -one training on Forex. I teach you the strategy I'm using every single day to trade. If you want it, that's fine. I'll teach you, I'll give you every single thing. You have to follow it, you have to be disciplined, you have to do the work yourself. If that's not for you, well and good. Go look for YouTube videos, look for any other materials, but follow the advice I've given you here. Approach it like a business or like a proper career. I hope that's helpful, guys. Until next time, I'm out.